Good evening, Aries and everyone else. Welcome. I'm looking into what's troubling them. So whoever you're thinking about, if anyone in your surroundings that you're wondering what's on their mind, what's got them like really, really um, either pensive or upset or maybe happy. <laughs> Who knows but you're wondering what it is we're gonna look into that so I'm gonna first draw one kipper card <laughs> and one came out right away and it's courtship so basically your person Aries uh, what's on their mind is courting maybe you maybe someone else who knows we're gonna draw the tower now out of the tarot and see um, why that is, right? Why is courtship uh, on their mind and in in what way, right? With uh, what's the angle here? <laughs> okay, a card flip, the two of wands. I'm gonna get more. The Queen of Swords and the Hermit in Reverse. Okay, so, well, already the courtship um, aspect is, especially with the Two of Wands here, that's definitely a matter of projecting this. They're projecting themselves in the future about uh, within a particular relationship. I think it's with you, of course. <laughs> Who else? <laughs> um, you know, it might feel far from them uh, in terms of time, in the sense that they might be remote from you. That's one possibility. Or they're wishing for maybe more, being more up close and personal. Um, maybe also they're kind of old fashioned. They might like. Um, Things to develop slowly, but I'm mostly sensing a lot of longing, right? And so I'm thinking either you're separate or um, maybe you're not courting them or they're not courting you uh, as much as they would like to, something of the sort. We do have the Queen of Swords here. She's kind of detached. We do have the Hermit in reverse. Uh, not the most warm and affectionate people uh, in the tarot, right? <laughs> but nonetheless, it's not necessarily just about that. There is some form of distance for sure. I feel here, this is funny, I'm hearing uh, you have to walk your talk. I'm also hearing uh, this, there's a gap. Mind the gap. <laughs> as in the London subway, right? I think that um, one of you is colder than the other, quote-unquote. One of you is... Um, Hmm. Maybe it's the one that makes the first moves, really. I'm not sure how it's received. I feel there's some form of turning, um, not necessarily turning backs, but it's, it's about the gap. Um, I don't know if there's a delay in communication. I don't know if there's like, um, you know, like if you're on the phone and like the connection's not good and it, it's like you say something and the person hears it like a second later or something like that. It feels like that. So there's like a delay. 
there could be also like some form of miscommunication because I feel that it's it's kind of falling flat or it's also um, not as warm as it should be. <laughs> I think that's what's troubling them. It's like, overall, uh, they want a relationship. They're super interested about, I think it's you, right? Or you versus them, towards them. There's definitely a courtship going on, but there's a little something missing and it's that little gap, so it's, Either there's distance, so instead of maybe courting each other like you you go out for dates and stuff like that, it, it cannot be done in that way. So the way that it has to be done feels much more impersonal and cold and sort of it's delayed. You know, you have to wait for the person to respond and like there's something about that, right? It's it's And so there's a bit of aggravation here, you know. The Queen of Swords is, uh, funnily, she's both patient and impatient. <laughs> and I say that with, um, like, full seriousness because it's really true. She has the capacity to be patient, and yet she's also super impatient. It just depends <laughs> what's the subject or what's, what are the circumstances and, and maybe her mood. So there's something there. So maybe this person was troubling them, also the courtship. Sometimes maybe it's fine, and then sometimes it's really a, a problem or it's, it really gets on their nerves. And when they're like that, they're much more prone to want to cut it off. But I don't think they do. They just might have the, like, sometimes the... <laughs> kind of, oh, damn, you know, like, this is taking too long, a little bit of um, being annoyed and maybe thinking about cutting it off. There's a lot of isolation on, um, I mean, the hermit is in reverse, so that's not too, too bad, but there's someone feeling lonely here. So there's one of you, right? So what's the guidance really for this situation that's troubling them? <laughs> it's a no. <laughs> okay. I'm going to clarify that because um, what's a no? The courtship, the relationship, uh, being troubled. Is that like a no in the sense that it shouldn't have its place? I'm going to clarify that. You should get three cards. We're going to take them. You get recovery. If you believe. And no need to worry. Okay, so it is a message of encouragement. So I think that the no portion, it comes from the Queen of Swords. There's something about getting annoyed. So... The feeling is, okay, no enough, or it's a little bit of that energy. But I don't think it's a full-on no. There's recovery. So there's the capacity to salvage this, if you believe. So honestly, I think it's a distance thing with the Two of Wands here. And I keep going back to mind the gap. There is a gap. There is something missing. So I'm not exactly sure what it is. I don't know if it's, I think it's the warmth. There's something missing about the warmth of the feelings. Because I think that maybe even through distance, uh, and even if there's kind of a delay, let's say there's like, I don't know, um, how do you say, um, a time difference. If there's a lot of warmth and love, it, it should be fine, right? And no need to worry. So I think the message is clear here about most of the issues might be like like being in your own head and things that you might 
or you or them, right? Because it's it's what's troubling them. But I think it's it's towards you. <laughs> but I also invite you not to worry. <laughs> I don't think this person would stop courting you is what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave the message here. It was supposed to be short and sweet which is the case, and I hope you got something out of it. Um, it might not be your story, it might not be, you know, the situation, so it's someone else's message for sure. <laughs> you can catch me on the next one. On your way out, please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't. See you soon. Ciao, ciao.